Today, I'm going to show you how to use Content Aware Crop in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And in today's episode, we're going to show you a brand new feature within Photoshop. It's called the Content Aware Crop Tool. It's really simple to use. They just added to Photoshop CC 2015 version 5.0. So we're going to show you how to update your software if you haven't already done so, and show you the in and outs of using the Content Aware Crop Tool in Photoshop. All right, guys, we got a cool episode. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so to get the Content Aware Crop Tool, the first thing we need to do is make sure we're working with the most current version of Photoshop. So I'm going to go up here to Photoshop. We're going to go to About Photoshop CC, and you can see we're at 2015 5.0 release. So as long as you have that release or newer, you're totally good to go. Now, if you don't know what's going on and you are subscribed to Photoshop CC, or basically Adobe CC, just go to your Creative Cloud installer here. There we go. Click here. And then make sure if it says update here, you can see I've already updated my version of Photoshop. So we're good to go. So just make sure you've updated your version of Photoshop because again, this is a brand new feature with the current release of Photoshop. All right, let's go ahead and show you how it works. So the content aware crop tool is built to give you more room in an image. Now let's go ahead and click on our crop tool. We're going to see all of our familiar options right up here at the top. I always recommend having delete crop pixels unchecked by the way. And here we have the option for content aware. So to start, we're going to show you before content aware, basically what the crop tool did. So using the crop tool, we'll just click and drag right up there and hit enter. And basically we just have a little bit more space here on the top. Okay. Now you can also rotate using the crop tool. So simply click here on your document and then go out to your edge here. You're going to see I've got a rotate arrow and I can click and rotate that out. Now you're going to see as I rotate, Photoshop is automatically cropping out parts of my image. Okay. So you can see I'm going to click there and I have less visible from my image, but you can see in order to get that, I've had to cu cut a quite a bit out of my actual photo. Okay. As I continue to rotate, you're going to see my crop actually gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay. I'm going to hit escape there. Now we're going to click on our content aware. So let's click on content aware and start by doing the same thing. So click here on the top and simply click and drag this up and hit that checkbox up there. All right. Now this is why content aware crop is so cool because it gives you more space in your image. Basically what it's doing is it's cropping out your image and then using the content aware fill that Photoshop has had for a couple versions now to actually fill that information in. Now worked pretty well in this example. It's because we chose a simple image. Keep in mind, this thing is completely computer generated. So it does, it's not, you know, it's not as smart as we are, right? It doesn't know how to think and like put things in the exact right place. So on a simple photo, something like this, it's going to work great. We're going to work on a more complex photo in just a little bit and we'll see you. It does have some limitations, but in all the content aware crop tool is really cool. All right, let's go ahead and jump back in. We'll show you how to add more room as well as how to rotate your images. So jumping back in, we've got our crop tool here and we've got content aware checked here at the very top. I can click here and drag out in that direction. And basically it's going to just try to fill in a little bit more of my image. Now it's using information from the rest of the image to try to put things together. And you can see in that case, it <laughs> it's relatively interesting, but it doesn't exactly look like we would want it to look. So let's go ahead and hit undo. Sometimes it helps to do these in smaller increments. So we're just going to go a little bit longer. There we go. Let's hit that checkbox and you can see that actually does look pretty good. So we'll just go a little bit longer again. There we go. All right. And it's totally looking okay. This guy's not exactly perfect, but keep in mind, you can always use a healing brush tool or a clone stamp tool to get you more information there. All right, let's go ahead and hit undo for a second. We're going to go back to, this is our original crop. Now let's show you how the content aware crop tool works with rotate. So clicking here, Starting off by going to our rotate, you're going to see it's not going to try to cut so much off of our image. Okay. You can see I'm actually going to be able to crop and keep information. There we go on the edges. So if I decide, okay, that's the crop that I want, what it's going to do is it's basically going to use information inside of the image to fill in these edges, which means you can crop and straighten your images and it's going to automatically fill in. So let's hit that checkbox up there. 
All right, and there we have it. So we've rotated our image and the content aware crop tool has filled in each of the corners. So you can see filled in there. You can see, if you zoom in, you can see, okay, cool. It's, you know, <laughs> you'll probably be able to tell like, all right, there's a little bit of a line there. And, you know, okay, cool. It looks like, you know, that's where the computer kind of took control. You can kind of see something going on here as well. Now, my suggestion would be to go in and just do a little bit of cleanup work after it's done. So let's create a new layer. I'm going to hit J for my healing brush tool. We'll just go to our regular healing brush tool. And then I can hold Alt or Option and sample some clouds. And then we'll just paint right over here. And then it's kind of just kind of blend that together a little bit. So I would suggest just going in, maybe doing some filler work with the healing brush tool if you need to, to kind of like smooth out some of the um, some of the irregularities. Let's just zoom in here. Some of the irregularities that the content aware crop tool may have done. There we go. And kind of bring that up. And you can even kind of fix some lines like I just did just there. Really easy with the healing brush tool. All right. Cool. Well, all in all, it's an awesome feature. If I hit C for my crop tool again, and I can click and drag out, you can see we've actually increased. So you, now you can see I've got two borders. And uh, I imagine if I continue to do this, we would just have more and more information all around our photo, which is really cool. It really does expand your capabilities within Photoshop. Oh, in this case, I was on this layer. So make sure you are actually on a merged document. There we go. And we're just going to bring that back up together. And it's going to fill in my corners for me. Oh, okay, cool. Well, in this case, all right, looks like your content aware crop tool wants to do this once. <laughs> so if you do this a couple times, it might not give you the exact results that you want. But if you're going just once on it, let's go. There we go. It's going to work really well. All right. So the content aware crop tool is great for simple images. Now I've uploaded an image of a cityscape in Photoshop as well. So we're going to show you some of the limitations with the tool. So here's our cityscape. We're going to try the same thing. Now we've got our crop tool selected. We're going to click up here to content aware. Okay. And then I'm going to click here on the top and simply drag up and hit enter. Now, in this case, basically all Photoshop has to do is calculate a new sky for me. All right. Which was pretty easy, right? And it did a really good job. Like that's not a whole lot of detail. So again, if you wanted to just, you know, click and drag this up a little bit more and say, oh, you know what? I need even more sky on an image like this it does a really good job. Now, that's totally cool if you want to make a postcard, but what happens if we want more information here on the right? Well, Photoshop doesn't, I mean, it doesn't know what the city looks like over here, right? It's just going to try to guess. So let's click here and drag out from the left to the right, right about there. And as we have more and more detail in your photo, it's going to basically be a little bit harder for Photoshop to do a good job. So you can see it's trying to, you know, put the uh, waves here and kind of filled in that area. Let's undo that and see if we can uh, give it a little bit more room here on the left. And it's going to use some of the buildings and architecture to kind of create new buildings. And, you know, it's pretty impressive. I mean, it, it does look kind of cool. Like <laughs> we definitely have some structures that are, you know, like flowing into one another. But you can tell pretty quickly that um, that this is not actually part of the photograph. All right. So I'm going to just extend this out even farther. Let's just click and drag this out right about there. And we're going to see that it's just going to try to repeat things over and over again. So, um, I mean, total props to the folks at Adobe who actually engineered this. I have no idea how this thing works. Um, it does have its limitations, but uh, it all in all, it is a great tool. So as I made this a little bit bigger, you can see it's basically taking parts of the image and uh, kind of repeating it over and over again. So if you have a simple image, the content aware crop tool is going to work very well for you. As you get a little bit more complex and you have more detail in your photo, you're going to see it's going to kind of fall apart just a little bit. But hey, at least it gives us a little bit more space in our photos. All right, guys, and that's the content aware crop tool. Really simple. To use it, just follow these key steps. First, make sure to update your software so you're using the current version of Photoshop. In this case, it's Photoshop CC 2015 version 5. You can simply go to your Creative Cloud installer and click on update to update your software. Now, if you guys are using an older version of Photoshop, let's say Photoshop CS2 or CS3 or CS4, unfortunately, you guys are not, you're not part of the Creative Cloud, so you're not going to be able to update your software, which means you don't get this feature. So um, I think that's kind of Adobe's way of saying, hey, you should probably upgrade so you can get this. Um, so again, if you're using an older version, unfortunately, you're not going to have access to the content aware crop tool. Once you're updated, simply click on your crop tool and click the checkbox for content aware. 
Now you can add more room to your photos and you can even rotate and it's going to fill in the corners of your images. Again, simple images are going to work better than complex images, but all in all the content aware crop tool works very well. Cool. That's it for today's episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching Flurn. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the new features within Photoshop CC 2015. If you love Photoshop as much as I do, click on your screen right about now. <laughs> we'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Yeah. Put that sneeze in the video. Sneeze a lease. Yep. <laughs>